Hi, Jordan here, and today we're going to be creating Alex from Minecraft. So, as you see, here's Alex. So, basically, this video is a simple introduction in UV editing. So, as you see, Alex is actually made of very simple shapes, but they use we are using image textures to create all these little blocks. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go A, X and delete everything. Let me just enable my screencast please, good. Now I'll rename this collection to reference underscore images, good. Now I'll go add image reference. Let's just go on the x axis. Now let's go back to my blueprints and add my Alex blueprint. Zoom in a little. Now I'll go in to open my little window here and I will change this the location on the Z to 1.5. Just let's change it to 1.36. 1.36 seems to be good enough. Now I'll go Shift A, Mesh, and I'll add a cube. Now I'll go G and just move it until it lines up with the picture or blueprints. And I'll just scale it just like that. Good. Now I'll go rename it. F N F two and I'll rename it to head. Good. Now I'll go M and new collection and I'll rename this collection to Alex. Good. Now I'll duplicate the head and move it down just a bit. Okay. Now I'll just move this these this bottom face down in edit mode. Now go back to object mode and duplicate the body to I so I get it up to the legs. Good. Now I'll go tab Alt Z and I'll just either loop cut right in the middle. Now let's delete vertices and fill it then. So it's cut in half. Good. Now let's go GX uh, minus twenty on the blueprints, let's go shift D and let's go on the 3D cursor RZ and 90 degrees. Good. So now I'll just go on the Y axis and just move it so it fits properly. Okay. Oh, and you know what I forgot? I forgot to do the arm, but no worries, I'll just move it just like that. Go to edit mode and just fix it up. So that's the arm. Now, I'll actually rename it. So, I'll come back when I've done. Okay, I've done. Now, let's just go on the y-axis and let's select all of these except the head. Go on the y-axis and just scale it on the x-axis just like that. Good. Now, I will color the head or texture it. So, I'll go forward slash to go in local view and I'll just go to material properties, go add a new material and I'll rename this to head. Okay, now let's add an image texture and I'll choose my blueprints. Now I'll just cut this in half. There's actually another way to do it. What you do is you go view, area and horizontal split or you can do vertical split. It's really your choice but I think I'll do vertical split. Just like that, and now I'll choose UV editor. Good. Now I'll just go tab into edit mode, go A, U to unwrap it, and I'll choose cube projection. Good. Now if I select the top and the back of the head, and I'll just find out where it is. A U cube projection. Okay, let's just choose viewport shading. Ah, it's over here. 
So I'll just move it just like that. Good. And I need to move it like that. So what I'll do is I'll move the top of the head and the back of the head just at the back of the head as I don't have a top view of Alex. So the back of the head is the closest possible view you can get. It's probably the best view. Plus it looks the same and it really works well. Anyway, now do both sides. So you and wrap actually. Now you can just move uh, click L to link selects and just move right on top go a s to scale it and just move right there Good now let's go rx uh, 90 minus No rx. Let's just move it. It doesn't actually have to be any way like it. It can be all weird so we just check it, okay, minus 180, good. Now let's do the face, uh, you unwrap, okay, let's just move it properly in place. And good, okay. So now we nearly done the head. It looks like this is the wrong way around. Just move it right like that. And that is minus 90. There, right like that. Good. Okay. Now, at the bottom of the head, what I'll do is I'll go AS0 and just move it. So find where it is. It's all the way there. And just move it to the skin texture. Good. Okay, now we go forward slash and I'll do the rest of the body. Okay, as you see, I've finished. Now, uh, if I hide the arm, as you see, I've just done the side view right here, just like that. Because we don't actually have a proper side view because the arm is in the way. So I just did it like that, but it doesn't really matter because the arm is kind of blocking this hair part. Anyway, so now what we need to do is go and change this the pivot point to 3D cursor. Now if we just select this leg, go Shift S, cursor to selected, and hold down Shift, select both of these. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. And go shift D, SX minus 1. Or SY minus 1, I mean. And good. So now all we have to do is do this view. And I'll just move it straight like that. And just like that. Minus 1. Good. Okay, now let's see. Um, good. Oh, and if we go to the other side, let's just do it the correct one. Good. Now let's make sure there's no pieces I forgot to unwrap. Make, you should do this too, because if you, let's say, want to animate it walking, the legs will move up and you would see like you may be forgotten it, like the back part or something like that like that you might forget but anyway now if we select everything uh, I guess I accidentally moved it out of the collection Alex good select everything select the body the commands P and object make sure you select body first by the way now let's just go X 0 Y 0 and there we go. Now we have it right in the center and we can just hide reference images. And there we go. Just go shift S cursor to world origin. And you should also go X, select everything, go command A and apply the all transforms. Just because later we you might want to rig it and it's very difficult if you have weird different transforms. So if we go command Z and check it out. As you see, the weird location transforms and scale transforms. So go Command-A, all transforms, and there it's fixed. 
this end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.